Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth and this is day 61 of my 90 day Tupper challenge. Today's been a pretty good day. Um, my trainer, Shayla, had a schedule conflict this morning for my training session with her. So um, she texted me yesterday to give me a heads up about that and instructed me very specifically on what to do during our regularly scheduled time. So I had to go in and do um, 30 minutes on the elliptical and 30 minutes of inclines on the treadmill. And I burned just under 500 calories, which I kind of got in trouble for, for not burning 500. So, because typically like if I'm close to 500, I need to go ahead and just get it there because that's my goal every day is to hit 500. So, um, I'm going to be taking a little walk here in a little bit. I don't know how far I'm going to go yet. I haven't decided, but um, I don't mind. I kind of wanted to continue our walks, maybe not nightly, but maybe, you know, two or three times a week. Um, it's just a good family time for us and um, good exercise for all of us, really. So anyway, so that's my plan for tonight. Eating wise has been a really, really good day. Um, I have really, like I said yesterday, just been trying to keep my carbs and protein in check and um, having to get a little creative with things, but I don't mind. Um, I'll be glad though when it becomes a little bit more second nature to me, but I appreciate um, all the tools I have right now at my disposal to, you know, to move things around and try to make it work. So it's going well. A couple of things. First is that this morning during my um, workout, I, I had just a normal breakfast like I always do, and I haven't had any low blood sugars since the doctor altered my medicine um, a few weeks ago. And so um, this morning I had the worst low blood sugar I've ever had. It was a little bit scary um, because I got, my hands got shaky, which they kind of do anyway um, about halfway through my workouts because that's about the time that I've burned up my breakfast and my um, blood sugar is dropping so but this morning my head started shaking really badly too and so um, I grabbed one of the other trainers that was there and just said hey have you ever had a client do this before and I don't know what to do and he is awesome he's um, Quentin at the gym is just an amazing trainer and um, really knowledgeable and so he said absolutely I've had people before and it's just they're they're having like a sugar crash and so um, we talked about what I have for breakfast how many calories I'm having at what point in my workout does this happen when it does and so he just gave me some advice but of course I'm gonna run it by Shayla which I already have and um, Anyway, so then he said, stop your workout right now and drive to the convenience store, which is across the parking lot, and get a muscle milk and drink it and then come back and finish your workout. So that was good. I didn't quit my workout, but I was able to go and, um, you know, drink that muscle milk, which by the way, yum. <laughs> it was a lot better tasting than I thought it would be. And I did great. I, my shaking stopped and I had energy to finish my workout. So, um... I'm going to be playing around with my breakfast now, trying to up the calories a little bit. Shayla and I um, talked about it today, and I'm going to add just some carbs and a little, a little more protein to my breakfast every morning and see if that doesn't help. But although it was a little scary, I'm also very encouraged by the fact that I had a low blood sugar because it means that I probably get to drop the rest of my diabetes meds. And I am so excited about that. I mean... Oh, that's just so such good news for me. So um, I'm not planning to do my labs or go to the doctor until after July 4th. So um, I'm going to try altering my diet a little bit and see if that keeps my blood sugar up during my workout. And um, I'm sure it will. I, I really think what we're doing is going to help. So anyway, it was it was a good thing, bad thing, but more of a good thing, I think. So I'm excited about that. The other thing is my stinking body is at a plateau right now. Oh my gosh, and it is so frustrating. I have been 
toying with tenths of a pound for, I don't know, probably the last week. <laughs> it's killing me. I mean, even with all the extra walking I've been doing and the 5K and all of that, it's still just not budging. So, and I don't feel like I'm retaining water necessarily, but um, my body just ain't giving it up. So, anyway, Shayla just encouraged me and said, just keep doing what you're doing, trust the process, don't freak out about it, and it's going to come off. So, and I, and I appreciate that so much. I know that if we go several weeks without it moving, then we'll revisit, you know, what I'm doing and see what we need to make changes to, but for right now, I just need to trust. So, um, I understand. I just, I, I have several friends right now who are starting um, diet and exercise programs. And I just want to encourage you guys not to give up when you reach a plateau. Because it doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong or that it's not working. It's just your body's natural way of responding. We, some of us lose weight quickly like a slide and some of us are stair steps I'm a stair step person and just don't give up it's so easy to quit when the scale doesn't move after a couple of days but don't give up you can do this you're doing great things for your body and I'm so proud okay that's all I have for today I will see you guys tomorrow take care